Shivu, what is the cause for stress? The primal cause of stress is the performance. The performance in this society or for this society. For this society in a sense, it is not a philanthropic thing. It is basically your own standing, your relevance in this society. What if I cannot maintain the kind of standards which I have been living? What will the relatives, this society think about? Pushes the person further into stress, to outperform to have a standing in the society, have a better standing or basically lay an impression upon the society which is the primal cause of stress which remotely or directly can be, can be termed in three words E-G-O, ego. It is your ego which is causing stress. Now there is a stress for survival also. There, unfortunately, there are people who are failing to make the ends meet. They cannot feed themselves good enough to survive even. That stress is for the survival. That is for the life. Now I'm not asking you not to adhere to the principles of society, but lead your life, not to have a ranking in the society. There are around 9 billion people in this world. What is your relevance? What is my relevance? It's insignificant. But still, if you think, you have such a relevance in the society that the world would be thinking about you. That's a fallacy. Be happy to what you have. Definitely have aspirations. But don't stress yourself. Irrespective of religion, caste, creed, nationality, the bank balance, the life has the same parameters. Enjoy a life. And the easiest way to overcome your stress is start eating water. Don't gallop in water. Take a sip, rinse it in the mouth, let, let the water touch the gums and then take sip by sip because when you touch it in the gums, it relaxes the brain. This is a natural way to de-stress yourself. Of course, there are doctors who would give you medicines but in a lighter way, those doctors also took a lot of stress to study and pass the exam. Till the time we meet next time. Shivo.